Hello guys, today I will see how to hire an employee. So, first step here is we go to T code PA40. This is the T code for hiring action. So, this is the personal actions. This is the personal number and this this is date we have to enter date here the date when we want to hire this employee so these are the action types now since we have want to hire a new employee we select this action hire we don't have to and we will we will not enter the personal number since it will get defaulted after this hiring action is completed so we execute this action okay. so after executing the action hiring action we will see a series of info types which we will have to add data and then save them the employee will be hired so these info types will store the information of the employees its personal data also its pay structure personal data includes the name of the employee his marital status his address okay so the action type is defaulted here as hire okay. since the employee was uh, the stat the, uh, the date which we had entered was first feb so here the start date is first feb now we have to select the reason for action here i am selecting new hire Now in status section, employment is active because we are hiring a new employee. So his employment status will be active. Now here we enter the position number. Now I have not created a new position number. So I am putting a default position. Now we'll enter the personal area. This was already defaulted because I'd created an employee with this personal area and employee group subgroup. So we select the personal area here and 01, employee group 1 and employee subgroup. So this forms the info type actions. We have to save this record. after actions info type the next info type which was defaulted is organizational assignment that is one triple zero one so here also the start date you can see is the same now here the company code is already updated personal area is also updated from info type zero that is actions here we need to enter the personal sub area I am selecting admin okay. so in the personal structure there is employee group, subgroup, payroll area in the contract so the payroll area is a mandatory field hence there is a checkbox here so now we select the payroll area or you can enter if you know it here in this case i'm putting it in a this is the personal area i want to assign to this employee 
This is the organizational plan which includes position, job key, org unit. This percentage is 100, that is the employee's full time. In the administrator section, group admin is already updated. Then we select personal admin. Select this, double click on this. Now, time and payroll admin is the same. So I'm just typing it. Supervisor is the person's name. So I'm putting the name. So I have created organizational assignment info type here. I'm saving it. So first we created info type actions and then info type organizational assignment. After that comes info type 2 that is personal data. So we select the title here. Mr. Last name. So here, birth date field is mandatory. So I'm entering the birth date and you can enter other details as well. Since they are not mandatory, I'm not entering. So here you can see that personal data info type has includes these fields. Birth date, birth place, country of birth, state, nationality, marital status, and mar if married, since when. We have to update the date here, number of children, and religion. So I'm saving this record. After info type 2, we'll be updating info type 6, that is address. So here you enter the street name, street and house number, postal code, city. So this field is mandatory. So I'm entering the street name. In the second address line city Bangalore so these are the fields here district region country key telephone number distance in kilometer company housing bus route so after entering all details you can save this record so as you can see from the info type 2 these details are updated here that is the name of the employee i'm going to save this record So these were the info types which we created for this new employee. So you can see the employee number has been de defaulted here 70459. So this is the hiring action. We have completed the hiring action for this employee. 
So the first step was entering the T code PA40 and selecting the action type higher. And then we created the info types. So this is the end of the video. Thank you.